The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon from TFNN. Welcome to the June 7th. Wonderful Wednesday edition of today's Trader's Ed Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And of course, the easiest way to do that, it's to always remember that life happens for us, not to us. That's right, we do not make that one little two by four shift. It means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is gonna to toss at us. Today, you and I, we're gonna go check out the circumstance of these markets. We're gonna go figure out what the bulls and the bears, what the buyers and the sellers are communicating to you and I just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know that I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here, but more importantly, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to dial on in, pick up that phone, 877-927-6648. You can send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. Of course, in that heading, put radio show question. That way my eyes will uh, catch it. And inside the Tiger's Den, any ping will do. That means an instant message. So uh, feel free to go ahead and fire away at those. Let's go ahead and get this show started on wonderful Wednesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes, and welcome to Let's Show Right now, we have an absolutely flat market. The Dow is pretty much unchanged at 21,135. S&P is off a point. NDX is down a point. Russell's off 50 cents. The semis are up four points. Uh, um, NASDAQ Composite is up one point. Trans transports are up eight. Not a lot of movement there, certainly, but we'll still go take a look and figure out what the charts or what the buyers and sellers are communicating to and I. Gold is back four bucks. Not a big deal. Silver's off nine pennies. Light sweet crude is a big deal. Down two dollars and thirty-one cents, trading out at forty-five eighty-eight. So breaking through some key support levels. We'll go try to figure out where it may be headed to. Uh, bonds are off just uh, slightly, leading the charge. The upside you've got uh, Wins Financial Holdings up. 124 bucks, probably uh, they are uh, buyout or a uh, IPO today. W I N S is the ticker symbol. No, it's not a. Uh, it's not a. Uh, I don't know. It looks almost looks like maybe a reverse, a reverse, uh, um, a re reverse split into a into a new publicly traded company or something like. And anyway, we won't we won't spend too much time on time on wins financial holdings out there. Heck of a move, though, huh? Uh, Netties, NTES, that's up seven bucks. AutoZone is up seven. Bluebird Bio up about six. New Oriental Education up uh, five bucks. Uh, Jazzy One, Jazz Pharmaceuticals up five dollars. Tesla's up nearly five. To the downside, it is Chipotle. CMG being the ticker symbol down 10 bucks or 2%. Price line up about $10. Analog, Analogic Corp down seven. Ambarella down six bucks. Shire, PLC off five. Uh, Cimarex Energy down uh, 460 out there. There. Of course, I want to look at what you want to look at. So in a flat market, how do we figure out uh, what the uh, buyers and sellers are communicating to you? And I, I think it's no different than really, well, let's look at a couple of short-term charts. Let's look at some of the vehicles that we have people that are trading out there. We'll look at the different time frames. So if you're short the ES Mini as we speak right now, then what you have to say is uh, be careful. Be careful because price is pushing lower, you're doing with less relative energy. That's what that uh, big push that just took place here uh, before we came on the air. That little push lower, that went ahead and created that little black line to the uh, downside on my uh, chart. We're in wave number six out of maybe seven. Maybe it's not even that. But what we do know is to pay attention to the trading during this next 20 minutes out here. If we get a bullish reversal signal at this pattern, 
that says, okay, there is a, at least a short-term bottom that would be in. We, we won't know until we see the cavalry arrive. Have they arrived just yet? No. But what we do know is prices pushing lower, pushing on a string, and it's not doing it with enough energy out here. If you do get that bullish reversal candle, whether it's now or over the course of the next couple hours while this pattern is in play out here, you want to pay attention to it. Then on a 30-minute basis, if you were to get above 24.29, that says you're headed back up in the 24.30 type area out there. There is no other way to uh, calculate it or uh, interpret it. Now, we have the same kind of pattern, by the way, going on inside the uh, Dow. Same kind of pattern, meaning that price was pushing lower, doing with less relative energy out here. And we can see that the Dow yesterday, YM, futures contract, 30-minute basis, was doing the same pattern as it made a bottom, what was that time period out here? That was in the uh, 8 in the morning time period yesterday. So we've got a, a test of that swing point. Again, need a bullish reversal signal, much like we had yesterday. So if we get that, that's going to tell you that uh, pushing to the downside here for the rest of the day is not likely to occur out there. Doesn't mean you're wrong on your short trade. Just says that, uh, you know, watch for the cavalry over the next couple of hours out here. Now, inside the Russell 2000, and again, I have a 10-minute delay there. My apologies for that. But yesterday, as this was pushing lower, you can see that it got down to wave number G, that's at 8 o'clock in the morning. That's your favorite wave count in mind. That is the seventh inning stretch. And, you know, um, the weak link out here ain't necessarily so weak. So uh, put that feather in your cap out there. Now, look, that's just the 30-minute charts out here. What else are we going to watch? Well, you know we're going to watch. We're going to watch Stevie's red line. That's an oscillator on change line, which at this stage of the game, prices testing, just like it did yesterday, right, a test and rejection test today don't know if it's rejection because this is going to be dependent upon the close but if you if you close out at about 58 57 we'll call it you would see just a slight close below stevie's red line if you close slightly below it well that opens up pandora's box pandora meaning the price level out here of about 56 88 or so give or take um give or take uh, some uh, points out there but that would be what my projection would be as a uh, retracement or as a pullback out here that's inside the end Q. That's the strong dog. So we've looked at the strong dog, the weak dog, basically. In fact, back to the weak dog out here on a daily basis, what you're going to see is the Russell is not that weak. Yesterday, well, uh, what do you mean by that? All I mean by that is yesterday you can see that test and rejection of the red line. Today you have, you have not even been down that uh, road. 1388.70 is that number. So that's what you would want to be watching for. This is just a consolidation move out here inside of the Russell 2000. Not anything more than that. Now, of course, in a consolidation move, you break to either side, then you have a measured move, which is equal to that consolidation pattern. Inside the ES, as an example, price is coming down, testing support. Never got down the test support yesterday. Support being Stevie's red line. That's priced at about 24 26 is what we'll call it. You're 24, 27 and three quarters right now, 0.75. A close below, we'll call 24, 26. And then what you're doing is you're looking at about the 23, it looks like 87-ish type area out here. That's what I would use as a price projection. So as we speak right now, we got a draw. Win, place, or show. Um, we just have a draw as we speak. We need more information from the equity futures contracts before we what we do know is that levels of support have held perhaps that is the most important thing for you to know out there and when they fail then you've got more information well, that was loud in my ears this is t roads with tfnn we'll be right back I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. 
See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN. Dot com now. Steve takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. Welcome back, uh, folks. So uh, we've got uh, energy trading lower, light sweet crude. Let's do this here. Let's go pull up the. Uh, Let's pull up the continuous contract. Uh, do I have to do that for light sweet crude? I can't recall now. I don't remember if I've got to do that or not. I don't think I do. Okay. So if we take a look, this is a continuous contract for light sweet crude. It's broken through. It's broken through key levels of support. I'm going to turn these profiles off on my screen. And uh, so we can see that price at this stage here, our best call, because it's trading. This is a daily chart that we're looking at is trading back into the May 5th swing point. That would uh, say that uh, we should anticipate 43.76 to be uh, tested. Now, whether it will be rejected or whether pr price breaks through there, then you could have an A to B equals CD to the downside. But let's just go ahead and take this one moment at a time. Now, interestingly enough, um, so what does that mean? Uh, means really as long as you trade inside that candle from the uh, trading session for May the 8th, and we could actually, with May the 8th, we could have just put the uh, contract up on our screen. So let me just do that here. So we've got the uh, current contract. There we go. I was thinking I might see something else. Uh, you're looking at a price anywhere between 44.13 and 47.04 out here inside of Light Sweet Crude. Now, what's kind of interesting about this pattern. Not this pattern. What Lightspeed Crude is doing, and then what perhaps you know, you know, is this about to form some type of uh, bottom? Certainly, we have a series at this stage here of lower highs, and a series of lower lows with the uh, current uh, current price action yet to play out. But what's interesting here is if we look at the XLE, and this is a sector that I'm looking at. Um, for uh, when is it going to bottom? It's trying to time when is this thing going to uh, bottom? Is it going to bottom? And what's interesting is you and I right now we're looking at a weekly chart. And what's nice about the patterns that show up on this whoops that show up on this weekly chart, uh, there's several of the patterns that you and I use. Hey, to form a bottom, price moving lower, doing less relative energy. There's your cavalry, your hammer candle from the week of uh, January 22nd, 2016. It, 
we just looked at the similar type pattern inside the 30 minute charts but just so you see this works on all time frames out there now in the case of those 30 minute charts they haven't confirmed diddly out there and until you get a confirmation it just is an interesting pattern but this case here, you did have that bullish reversal signal, formed a nice bottom. Price moves up, creates a TD sequential count out here the week of uh, December 16th. That happens to identify the uh, current top that we've seen inside of the XLE. But if we start doing our wave counts from that high, you can see, excuse me, you can see that uh, we are in the uh, second week of wave number seven. Oftentimes, and that has not been confirmed, could not be confirmed until next Friday if there's not a lower low inside of the uh, uh, energy sector inside the S&P 500. But it may be signaling to you and I that this is getting ready to try to uh, form a, a bottom. And this, quite frankly, would be on the XLE, this would be a Gartley buy pattern on a weekly basis if, in fact, it uh, confirmed out here. We don't have that just yet, but it is something that you want to keep your eyes on, along with one eye on the XLE, another eye perhaps on light sweet crude. Now, interestingly enough, inside of the daily chart out here, if we take a look at the uh, daily chart and we just start doing some counts to the downside out here, um, we've got uh, several that we can do to try to figure out what wave we might be in here. And uh, you're going to see that at this stage, no, we do. We, what do we have? We don't have anything here inside the XLE on a daily basis that's going to assist us wave-wise um, with that. But nonetheless, we'll be paying attention to the uh, daily chart for the XLE, seeing if we can find any type of uh, bottoming signal. You'll see with regard to Tom DeMarc counts, there's nothing out here. Wave counts, there's not anything out here. Price moving lower, doing less relative energy, there's not anything out there as well. But uh, I would say keep an eye on that. And speaking of energy, let's go take a look at uh, Rig with uh, Victor from uh, Paramus, New Jersey, I believe. Victor, are you from Paramus? Oh, yeah. Shopping capital of the world. Most cool. Is it? In the oh, world. Okay. Right. okay. Good, good. We got the now, most, tell most, most commercial business ever, and our taxes are crazy. Most shopping centers ever. Hey, come on down to Florida. Yeah? No, my son goes to school there at Nova Southeastern. It sounds pretty nice, but you're a little slow down there. They sound like you, you people might be a little retarded down there. Really? Well, yeah, I won't take really that. Slow. I won't take that. I won't take that too personally out there. But uh, it's good people uh, down here. So, yeah, the only one tax too. Hey, Rig, we're we're way below two thousand and eight. Where the hell is that going? Well, right now, uh, what Rig is trading into is the two thousand and sixteen swing yeah, point. Exactly. Yeah. Do we, do we bang um, and, it out or what? Well, first, I'm on a weekly chart. So, and obviously, we're only halfway through the week, but uh, decent point of of of, uh, of interest here is the low of that level is 767 there was 83 million shares that traded during that week and it looks like mm -hmm. we're going to come up short it looks like maybe we're going to do you know 70 million or something like that but in the case of rig the weekly chart says you need to wait to see what happens as that seven dollar and 67 cent level gets tested um and and if it trades below that, you say we're back to 2008 low, so up with this No, no, we're way past that. In oh, 2008, I think it was at $33 yeah. a share. Got it. It's Got never, it. I've yes. never, it might be, you might have to go back to like a 20 year chart. Well, yeah, where we are trading actually is uh, back into the 1994 time frame. Uh, for for rigs, so there's not a lot of people that are in this uh, in this equity that are in a profitable position. But you know, it's making these it's trade it's testing its prior weekly swing point with light volume. So, Victor, let's go take a look and see what it's doing from a daily perspective. Try to identify that, and that takes us back into February 23rd is the exact date out here. And at February 23rd, what Rig did, uh, let me get redo this here. The price. The price level that Rig was trading at was between 830 and 767, and there were 22 million shares. Now you've done about 10 million shares today. You're not down to that level, but are you looking to to buy this? No, I'm, I might buy it because I was looking at HOS on Thursday, Friday. Check out that stock. They got a lot of cash, HOS, and I don't think they're going out of business. They had a little bounce, okay. HOS. Well, I'll, I'll go there a check second. Check out so that we, chart. But, but I just think so, I'm just, a little, yeah. I think that's but the just first. For, just, just for our viewers that are taking a look at Rig here, uh, because we yeah, were no, talking I about energy. Their product, 
their their metal and all that, all their infrastructure is worth more than seven dollars a share. I think. Right. So, so if if you or our, any of our other listeners are are still uh, paying attention to rig, watch the seven sixty seven eight thirty level, and what you want to see is some type of test or rejection with twenty two million shares. Now, uh, Victor, this is a classic setup where you would really use Tom's book, The Art of Timing the Trade, because what you first mm -hmm. want to see, you first want to see this test these swing point areas both weekly and daily, and do it on light volume. Reject that area. I mean, close back mm -hmm. above that. Then you want to see a sign of strength. You want to see somebody come in there, some bunch of shareholders, whatever. You want to see a sign of strength. And then what you do is you buy that next pullback. So that's how you should buy this. What's that? When it's that? Do institutions buy this stock? Like I always hear they have to buy stocks when they're $10 and over and all that stuff. Or does this do a reverse split, you think? I uh, no idea. I think if you want to know what institutions own it, you can get that information on the Internet. Yeah, it says like 100% uh, is owned by you know, institutions. Yeah. So, uh, but I'll take a look at, uh, you say HOS is the ticker symbol? Yeah, check that one out. I had a little, I made a little money on that, but now tell me where it's going. All righty, we'll do All it. All right, thank you. All right, Victor, you bet. Thanks a lot. Take care. This is Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Thanks. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video tiger tv exclusively at tfnn.com this segment is brought to you by think or swim for more information just click the think or swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com <laughs> Welcome back to 
Well, folks, uh, you know, this is a kind of, kind of a cool chart to, to look at. This is a monthly chart here for the uh, security that uh, Victor is in, Hornback Offshore Services, HOS. And the reason why it's so cool to take a look at this is oftentimes you will hear some of some of us uh, hosts uh, refer to a 100% uh, move of a move, which really is nothing more than, and what your eyes want to always be glued to as a target of where price will move to is a previous swing point. Now, when those swing points points fail as either support or resistance, um, then you start to take a look at, you know, A to B equals CD patterns, things of that sort, maybe expansion of swing points, a number of different sets of tools might be horizontal trading ranges, could be uh, TAS market profile. So there's a number of different tools. You can use all of them to identify where price is going to head to. Now, the reason why I say this is back in 2008, June of 2008, the security got up into the $60 level. It uh, revisited that back in October of 2003. Now, on a monthly basis, Basis, the volume there was 17 million shares versus in 2003, it was nearly 15 and a half million shares. Nonetheless, uh, it uh, was unable to uh, break above that area and traded all the way back down and past and beyond the actual uh, swing point from uh, March of 2009. So Victor is bottom fishing in uh, this uh, equity horn back offshore which is fine if we take a look and the question was that was posed to me is where is this headed to well the one thing what we talked about inside of rig that you like to see is a sign of strength off the bottom it doesn't exist inside ticker symbol hos there's there is nothing and so if you are trading this and people put in their stop loss should be zero I, I agree with that if you're bottom fishing here and you're really interested because you know victory said these guys have money they're not going to go out of business if if i were going to take a trade in this it would really be an investment i would buy a unexpired option i would say i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna go ahead and allocate X number of dollars, maybe it's a hundred, maybe it's a thousand, maybe it's ten thousand, whatever is inside your budget, and then uh, whatever that amount is, which you're willing to risk it all, that's how many shares you would buy. Thousand divided by one seventy-five tells you you're going to buy somewhere around what five hundred and twenty shares, something like that, or fifty shares on hundred bucks, whatever that might be. And then you don't have to worry about something like this. Uh, and that's the only way that I can see trading this uh, with the uh, because there has been no sign of strength, market profile-wise, you know. It says a buck sixty-one is a good support area. Would I really rely on that? Absolutely, positively not. This thing's in free fall, and maybe it can't go lower. But of course, it can go lower. It can go a dollar and seventy-five cents uh, lower out there. So I would trade this as a as a unexpired option. I think that might be the easiest way to do that. That was Hornbeck Offshore Services. HOS is the uh, ticker symbol. Now, 130 has uh, come, so that half hour mark, and in that half hour mark here for the ES, now you've got price moving lower, doing less relative energy, and we did have one of those piercing candles that uh, showed up. So you do have the cavalry suggesting that they want to go ahead and support this move down inside the ES Mini. Now, as candles go, um, when we take a look at two candle configurations, by two candle, I'm referring to the one from uh, 1230 to 1, and then the one that just formed between 1 and 130. That's a two candle configuration. The piercing candle would be out of five different candles that could form a bullish reversal. This would be, um, with one being the best, this would be four out of five. Doesn't mean that it's not a good candle. You need to see follow through. What does that mean? That means by 2 o'clock, if this is going to be any form of a bottom, watch the Stevie red line. 2429, give or take, is probably going to go up a point or two. But any close above 2429 with some type of conviction, and then you're still in this little sideways ish type trading range of 2434. We we'll just show you how important that uh, daily oscillator on change line is out there. So, as I say, you've got out of five potential candles. This would be four out of five, with one being the best and five being the strongest. Now, what I will say is that it would be impossible for the ES Mini to have formed candle number one and, quite frankly, candle number two. So let's just say out of three, you know, it's kind of right in the middle there um, with regard to that. I don't want to go into all of that out there, but. And inside the uh, Dow, really the same thing, right? So you have that little piercing candle inside the Dow. Now you can see maybe the Dow is the one Dow Equity Futures contract that gives you the better piece of information because 21,146 has been tested and rejected thus far. So if the market is going to 
create a little short-term bottom at 135. Not going to tell you how long that's going to last because I would have to say you just go back to the prior swing point area in the 21,170-ish type range out here. Um, you know, that's that's really what it would be suggesting to me. So just wanted to update you on the short-term charts and maybe eventually we'll get to some longer-term pictures out here because this daily stuff and this intraday stuff, it's just noise. It's good noise. But it is just noise. Let's go to Don in um, Northern Virginia. Does that make sense? No. Yeah, that's right. Oh, okay, great, great. Don, how are you doing today? Hey, good, Steve. Nice talking to you again. Nice to hey, see uh, to you. Yeah, I'm looking at uh, Tyson's TSN. Uh, I'm looking for an entry. Uh, see what you think. Looks sure. Like chart looks good. Yeah. Now, so Tyson's. Tell me why you're. T tell me why Tyson's. Is this, a, is this a stock that you normally trade? You've got some. Uh, in you know, to g what, what's uh, any basis behind it? Just, just curious. Yeah, I, I like the uh, the way the chart looks. Looks like uh, you know it came down some and uh, and now it looks like it's on the way back up. Okay. It had a nice uh, double bottom. Sure, sure. So, uh, so as we take a look at Tyson's, the one thing I don't know if there's an earnings deal or something like that. I've just got the weekly chart up on my screen at mm -hmm. the moment, but something in November 21st, 2016, caused this to gap to the downside with 52 million shares. So it just says uh, if you're trading this alongside, you don't want to see this close below 55.72. And especially with more than 52 million shares, that just should be should be strong support out here. With regard to the weekly chart, what's also confirming that happens to be our market profile that says 57.38 should be a good level of support out here. Um, so right now, what I see in this from a weekly perspective is a is a pretty much a range bound type trade, which takes you into the 65, 66 area as your top of this consolidation and the bottom of about $57. That's what the weekly chart shows us. As we switch over to the daily chart out here, um, you know, the question is going to be how long does it take it to even get through? Remember, you and I were talking about this gap to the downside way back here, I think November of 2016. It happened to be November 21st, exactly. Mm -hmm. um, and that was one move to the downside with volume. There is another move that Tyson had to the downside, and that was on May 8th. And that's what you're trading into right now. And there was 10 million shares there. So it's a it's an area of resistance. I would say the, um, you know, and, and that's really the top of a, of a gap that is out here, that being 6201. Uh, does the chart look pretty good with regard to, uh, with you know, just as a chart, with the exception of those volume aspects, the answer is, yeah, you know, I, I it, it does look pretty decent out here. But um, how long, you know, what tell me how you're what you're what you're thinking about in inside this trade? You know, what's your length of time? Is this short term, long term? Just give me some type of feel there. Oh, yeah. With a, with a company like Tyson's, I, you know, I would just go um, uh, short term. Uh, I want to go long term on you know stock like Broadcom or Amazon, something like that. You know, Tyson's okay. you know meat so, packers. So, they're, they're, they sure. go up and down. You know. Okay. But, so so Don, do me a favor. Just hold on through this break. We'll try to uh, get this thing nailed down for you, and uh, we'll be back in just a few. This is D Don in Virginia with Steve Rhodes at TFNN. Looking at Tyson Foods, TSN. We're gonna go have some chicken. We'll be right back. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. 
TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry. Powered by the acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting tfnn.com. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. We're on the line with uh, Don in uh, Northern Virginia. We're taking a look at Tyson Foods. So, uh, Don, this is what I came up with during the uh, breakout here. Okay. At this, at this stage, there's nothing on this chart that indicates to you and I that this will be able to break through its most recent swing point high, which is 67 bucks. Mm. So that becomes our target level, right around 67. We're just kind of rounding up here. So if you were to buy it now, uh, and by the way, your risk, I think, needs to be below, your stop needs to be below the swing point from June 1st, which is uh, 57 bucks. So we're at 60, 57. So you'd have a $3 risk to make maybe uh, six or seven dollars. So I don't know if you want a two for one trade. If you don't want that, what I would suggest is that see if this thing pulls back and, and odds favor that this could pull back to about 58.65, giving it a little bit better reward to risk on the uh, trade out there. And that's that's how I would take a look at Tyson's. It looks like this thing may be on the march up to 67. The question becomes, uh, and if that's the case, and you've been watching it more than certainly I have, I think you have to take a look at this being a reward of, you know, a, a two to one type of trade at best case. Okay. Uh, can I ask you another one, uh, Steve? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm uh, also looking uh, at uh, uh, the symbols ACIA. Yep. And it's, uh, I just, uh, I like the sector. I don't uh, know what to make out of the chart. I'm, I'm sure you, you know better than me. Uh, I can't, uh, I'm not sure from the chart, you know, what we to make just, out we of just, it. We just navigate it together. Um, okay. You know, I think that's that's all we can do. We just, you and I, we just simply look for a set of tools that uh, typically you would see at a bottom or a top or something like that. So it's Acacia Communications. And, mm -hmm. you know, when it, when a stock, when a stock makes, tries to make a bottom, in this case here, and you can see we're doing a lot of bottom fishing today, which is, which is good. This is a weekly chart. So we're just starting off on the uh, weekly chart out here. And what this thing has done the past couple of weeks has formed a couple of different uh, bullish reversal type candles out here. So the week of May 22nd was a little bull sash candle. Last week was a nice little hammer candle out here. So it does say that uh, buyers are trying to form some type of bottom. That bottom really, and this also is a weekly profile that shows up on our screen. So this says in the case of Acacia, 
45, if I pronounced it properly, 4435 should be good support. The actual bottom of that hammer uh, would be 4375. So that becomes your support level. You would not want to see it close below that. But right now, this may only be getting up into the 5181 level. So you've got about uh, $4 to the upside and about $2 to the downside. So this is another two to one kind of reward to risk trade out there. Now, unfortunately, candlesticks on their own are not necessarily the best signals of a top or a bottom. You like to see some other pattern form there. And as I, and I even though I don't have the, my, the other chart on my screen here, um, I've got it off screen. It's not showing that that type, some type of pattern. It's not showing any pattern on the weekly chart. I'm going to go ahead and put it on the daily for you. A C A I A. If something pops up, I'll throw it on the uh, Tiger TV. Well, okay, there is something that, that does show up on Tiger TV. Okay, so I make a big deal about any equity that tries to push lower and does it with less relative energy as this was doing as it was making a bottom out here. So we now have a kind of like a third signal that that's what it's trying to do is make a bottom. Now, after a run like this, um, you probably have to look at this as being more of a long-term trade because maybe all this is doing right now is just consolidating between 42 and 49 bucks out here. Um, okay, actually, I was looking for, yeah, Steve, on this in a long-term because, like you said, I like the sector. It's in a sector that's really expanding. Uh, op I forget what, opto electronics. Yeah, uh, they speed uh, they speed uh, make data transmissions to the cloud a lot faster, so it's in a like relatively newer industry and it's very uh, you know everybody wants in on it you know Amazon China you know everybody wants to get to the cloud quicker. So. Sure. So you so you're making uh, great fundamental uh, yeah, it, it, reasons yeah. to, to to look at it. So that's so here's here's the, so here's how I add to your fundamental and keep an eye on it. Um, if uh, is that perhaps this is just under accumulation. We don't know that for sure. But if this is a bottom, it's under accumulation, could go sideways for quite a while. But you will see a sign of strength. You'll see some wide-ranging bar with accelerated volume. We haven't seen that yet. So far, we saw a big push down on a daily basis back on May 10th. So what I would do is uh, for bottom fishing like this, wait till you see the sign of strength. That's, the, that's like the indication, okay, now where do I get in? on this equity you know and usually it's it's on some type of pullback so either you get it now from the long term but we haven't seen a sign of strength or wait for that sign of strength and just keep watching this chart that would be that would be how i would look at the casia communications okay how, how do you determine the accumulation where the stocks being accumulated steve well, the easiest way is that you would see a really light volume and just a sideways move, and especially after a big move like this here, because Acacia folks went from a high out here of 130 bucks, you know, and now we're down at about 46. So it could be just simply a long period of time where you know someone or funds are trying to build up a position out there, and they don't like to tip their cards, and so it's just trying to build up some. You know, just trying to move sideways, and it and it can happen for long periods of time out there. It almost is like a consolidation. But then, when you break out of there, when it, when a stock will break out, you will see that sign of of strength out there. Maybe it's because of some rumor that's floated. Who knows what the reason is? But you'll just simply see a sign of strength off the bottom. And it just is the type of trader that you are or the period of time. I don't see anything inside this chart now on a daily basis that suggests to you and I that this thing is ready to take off to the upside. Okay. Well, Alrighty. thanks a lot, Stephen. Yeah, you took the right course by uh, kind of ignoring that uh, guy from New Jersey, man. But you know, just consider the source, man. <laughs> it's okay. We're New good. New Jersey's a wacky. Uh, I've been called Florida, man. That's a, I, I love I love all our callers. I've been I've been called worse. That's okay. Yeah, I know, but that, that was pretty all rude. Right. Okay. All, all right. right. Have hey, a good day, man. You okay. bet. Thanks for calling. Thanks for calling. All right. all right. So we do have a question inside the Tiger's Den. So let me just read. I'll read this to you, and then we'll go. We'll go actually do it because I'm not that great at multitasking, as you can tell. But it says uh, um, during this next segment, please review the NDX or the NQ uh, contract uh, sell-off from May 17th through the 18th. So let's do that out here. It's a daily chart, and that's referring to this uh, trading session right here. All right, so we've got that. Uh, please review that. Uh, what tools of yours suggest the low-risk buy? 
Um, just asking to be fully prepared when the next NDX sell-off occurs. So it's kind of we're, we're integrating both the NDX 100 and the NQ here. Let's because most people listening at least can follow the either the Qs or the NDX. Let's go just actually take a look at the NDX. See if I can answer the question um, that way. And so I'll put up the daily chart. I'm just trying to switch over to a different set of tools here. And and it is a, it's a really valid question. No, so we're going to go answer it. And when I say valid, you know, when price moves higher, it does with less relative energy or vice versa, um, it can be a sign of some type of uh, topping or bottoming condition. And what we can see here inside of the NDX specifically, we can see that it has been moving higher but doing less relative energy. Never a great thing. It can resolve itself. It can absolutely do that by getting enough energy. But when the bears show up, just like we did on the 30-minute chart for the NQ, now we're taking a look at the daily chart out here. And you can see yesterday was a confirmation of a bearish signal when it formed an evening star. So the pattern is in to suggest lower price, but not until it gets below Stevie's red line. We'll continue looking at this when we get back to the Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank is a member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. TFNN has put together the finest live programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast nine hours a day starting at 8 a.m. as John Logan kicks us off each trading day with a global market pulse. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour. Following the Tom O'Brien Show, Mondays and Fridays, catch live trading on the Nadex platform with hosts Tom and Tommy O'Brien, along with Daryl Martin on the Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts. And keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN, educating investors. Join David White as he keeps you up to date on the latest tech stocks while he uses his Power Law Vector Indicator to identify the best trades. The Power Trading Hour, next on TFNN.
Welcome back, folks. So we're taking a look at both the NQ, the equity futures contract, as well as the NDX to try to answer a uh, two-pronged question, which is, you know, where could price, if price were to fall, where would be the next buying opportunity? Now, the cool thing about the, and I'll go back to the NDX in just a moment here, but if we're taking a look at the equity futures contracts. Uh, upper uh, panels are the ES on the left, the NQ on the right. Now, the cool thing about uh, both of these is that there's a brand new market profile that formed today. And let's see if price stays above the top of that profile. These profiles form with price above those levels. These are very powerful messages about the market here. That doesn't mean that price can't get back inside. If price does get back inside, it doesn't take away the power of this profile. And the answer is very simple. 57.63 to 57.79. That would be your buy point inside of the NQ. At this stage here, it's still very powerful. Now, back to the NDX 100, which gave us a signal yesterday when we got the confirming reversal candle. It was a three-candle configuration referred to as the evening star. What you need today, though, is you absolutely have to get a close below Stevie's red line. In the NDX 100, I would be looking for this red dash line, the first red dash line that goes across, which is about 56.88 type of level. And uh, that's at the uh, beginning of one of those Tom DeMarc uh, setup, a uh, nine series counts that uh, occurred three trading sessions ago. What happens if you don't close below Stevie's red line? You've got no confirmation really whatsoever out here. You just have something that's interesting to look like. So I hope that that answers your question with regard to the NQ. So that was at the 50. 700 ish area the last piece of the puzzle out here would be to go take a look at those horizontal trading range boundary lines out here here's our three time frames and 5754 happens to be the daily um, horizontal trading range that's the one on the left hand right hand panel blue lines out there so that becomes your price target on any kind of decline inside of the ndx 100 and then folks and i mean then what you want to prepare for is you want to go ahead. And, and so we may get a decline. I hope we get a decline. I don't think it's going to be anything of significance out here. The, what you really should be preparing for is the next move to the upside. Because that could be it. That could be the next. That could be the bottom. That could be the bottom that you really want to uh, buy. And if, in fact, that is the case out there, I can't guarantee it. I'm just saying you really ought to think about it. Then what you're looking at is you are looking at the NDX 100 headed to, there we go, about the 8,500 level out here. Here is the monthly chart for the NDX 100. You can see the 20 plus year consolidation that it was in that it broke out of. Now this is a chart from a couple of days ago, but we're really kind of around these same prices out here. And this is what's referred to as a measured move. When you break a consolidation pattern, you do equal to or greater than the consolidation. Look, the Russell 2000 already did it when it got up to the 1350 level. It's long-term consolidation. The S&P's price target is like 2450. We're basically there. It's equal to or greater than. It's now the NDX 100's turn. It's now the NASDAQ Composite's turn to uh, take us up to those uh, levels. And there are all kinds of reasons. The best of all is so many people that are out there that are skittish. You watch those shows on TV. You see the guys on CNBC and Bloomberg, and they give you about basically every reason to believe that I am full of hogwash out here. That's okay. We just are going to keep this amongst yourself, just you and I with regard to where the NDX 100 is headed to. Until it starts to break a level of support, and on this chart right here, 5507 would be the number by the way, that's Stevie's red line. Now, that's, that's going to change, obviously, so it's probably not exactly 5507. Maybe tomorrow we'll go in and we'll take a look at the longer term as to where these markets are going. It's fun to go take a look at this noise stuff. But, folks, if you thought we were in a bull market before, just wait till you see this next move. Have a great day. Stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear in mind. He's up next. That's David White. Tom O'Brien from 3 to 5. Have a great day. We'll see you on Terrific Thursday. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date, 
active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. You're watching Tiger TV.